My high school track coach was of the opinion that the defining characteristic of a good runner was their mental focus. His most severe critique was not of a runner's time, but their form. Get the form right, and the times would follow. Now, I'm way past my running prime, but I've found that admonition holds true in a lot more than just athletic competition. I'm Michael Quinn Sullivan with a reflection on life and liberty. All these years later, I can still hear Coach Hunt admonishing us. Don't look at the track. Your feet will find it. Don't look back. There's nothing to care about. Keep those eyes forward. That's where you're going, he would say. We all have an almost irresistible desire to look backward. When running, the urge to see how close the nearest competition is is strong. But as Coach Hunt would tell us, if we were running flat out and to the best of our ability— That knowledge was useless. And worse, your feet tend to follow your gaze, leading to stumbles and falls. Keep your eyes fixed on the finish line. As the author of the epistle to the Hebrews noted, Jesus endured the cross because of the joy that was set before him. A good reminder for our own race. Yet for many of us, we get drawn into looking backward because we fear that where we are and where we're going won't be nearly as good. We romanticize the past even while paying lip service to the joy we're told awaits us in the future. This is nothing new. Think of the people of God being led out of actual slavery and bondage. God delivered them from their captors, leading them by a miraculous pillar of fire and smoke. Their enemies had been destroyed by crashing waves, and rather than be forced to forage for food while on the run, God provided for their dietary needs with bread literally from heaven. (laughs) The human heart is nothing if not prone to complaint. They grumbled to the point of romanticizing their time in slavery. In Numbers 11, it's recorded that they said, We remember the fish we ate in Egypt that cost nothing, the cucumbers, the melons, the leeks, the onions, and the garlic. (laughs) Yeah, it had cost nothing, except liberty. The past is never as great as we remember it, but even that fails to recognize a simple, inescapable truth. It is past. What counts today is what we're striving for tomorrow. In running and in life, we look backward at our peril. The past is useful for reflection and education, but it's not a destination. As a self-governing people, we must set our eyes and action on the future. The Reflections Podcast is presented by Texas Scorecard. If you like today's message, be sure to rate it, leave a review, and encourage your friends to listen. Today's edition was produced by Nick Shepard. I'm Michael Quinn Sullivan. Thanks for listening.